Hi everyone, my name is Henry and I'm going to be talking about a very interesting idea in the study of light called Fermat's Principle. So what exactly is Fermat's Principle? Well, the definition of Fermat's Principle given by famous Nobel Prize winner Richard Feynman is as follows. Out of all possible paths that it might take to get from one point to another, light takes the path which requires the shortest time. On the bottom left corner of the screen is a picture of Feynman in his prime, and on the bottom right corner of the screen is a famous quote from him. So now let's talk about some historical background to this breakthrough. The principle was first discovered in 1658 by a French mathematician called Pierre de Fermat. What had initially happened was that Fermat's friend, another French mathematician and physicist called Marin Curo de la Chambre, sent him the newest copy of Hero from Alexandria's principle of least distance, where a hero claims that light travels the path of least distance. Chamber wrote to Fermat, however, claiming that hero's principle didn't work in the case of light being refracted, which basically means that light, when entering a different material, wouldn't travel the path of least distance. So being the bright physicist and intrigued uh, scientist he was himself, Fermat then came up with a solution of the principle of least time, which worked theoretically for refraction as well. This principle is now in modern day called Fermat's principle. So at the time of the discovery, however, Fermat and no other scientist had any idea why his principle could be explained, instead just claiming it to be a part of nature. This explanation obviously did not fit well with any of the other major optics researchers and physicists at the time especially one by the name of Claude Clercellier. Clercellier states in one of his many criticisms of Fermat's principle the following. The principle you take as a basis for your proof, to wit, that nature always acts by the shortest and simplest path, is only a moral principle, not a physical one. It is not and cannot be the cause of any effect in nature. So this basically completely goes against Fermat's explanation of his principle and because Clercellier claims that saying that nature always acts by the shortest and simplest path can't be a explanation for any physical theory. However, a couple hundred years later, a bright physicist called Richard Feynman and his colleagues worked out a theory that solidified Fermat's principle from around 300 years earlier. This theory would be called quantum least action and it was the this idea that led uh, Feynman to win the Nobel Prize in 1965. So although there, there, uh, the importance of Fermat's principle is very very broad, two of the most important ones are that it explains both refraction and reflection and it reduces all observed deflections to a single statement. So basically this means that in one single statement, it encompassed all previous observations in the study of light. And that's it. Um, so here are some videos and links for further insight if you want to look into uh, what exactly Fermat's principle is and some of the math included. And here are my works cited. Thank you.